Hey guys, thanks for watching Retro Tech Toys. Today we're going to be looking at the Apple II computer. And this is my office here right now that I'm still remodeling many, many months later. And uh, it's not done yet. It'll never be done. <laughs> but uh, sitting here with the Apple II today, the Apple IIe actually. And um, I thought it'd be really cool to show you guys a program that I discovered recently and uh, how I got it onto disc which uh, it's been covered by a few places before, but I haven't covered it, so I'm gonna cover it. This is Apple II's version of DOS, and it's very similar to MS-DOS, and I'm gonna show you how I got that onto a disc. Uh, first of all, on uh, eBay, I purchased a brand new box of diskettes. That was a 10-pack, uh, five and a quarter, as you can see. It's really all you need. Uh, like I said, I'm not worried about them dying anytime soon because they're brand new. I got a bunch of cool stuff on there. I don't have anything that requires the use of my mouse yet, but I have some cool stuff that I can use my controller on. Here you have my complete Apple IIe. We've got the mouse, the controller. Uh, I've got a printer way up here but that you can't see. It's not hooked up though. Um, I have my uh, unit itself. I've got the disk drives and I've got the monochrome green screen monitor, the phosphorus green. All right, let's check out US DOS, and then I'll show you what I do to get my discs. There are two different things you can do. All right, so here we go. And US DOS is kind of cool. It's like I said, it's very similar. Uh, here you go. You see, it's going to ask you to enter a date, but we like 1991, don't we? Maybe let's see. Let's see if we can go Y2K compatible here. Let's see. Are we? Uh, what is today? Is it like April 3rd? We'll see if it'll accept it. No, it's not going to let me do it. Um, but anyway, whatever. It's 1991. Let's do this. So we're at the A drive, and uh, you've got similar commands to DOS. Uh, you know, DIR for directory. Uh, you can check out a README. You've got a couple of games on here. You can go into basic and do some basic stuff. And you can go into the DOS directory and we can see all the commands. So let's go ahead and do that first. It's the same deal. CD to change directory. Ah, crap, I can't spell. Hold on. So we're, even though it doesn't list it, we are in the directory. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, you know, you've got your config.com, and you've got a couple of commands like undelete, transfer, format. Uh, you got all sorts of stuff. So you've got uh, command.com up here, uh, help. And after uh, we're done checking out the Apple here, I'll show you guys what I've been doing with my workshop. So I'm not doing a full video on that. I mean, that'd be a pretty boring video, I think. But we saw some of the commands that we can do. Let's see if CLS works like it's supposed to. Oh my gosh, it does. All right, let's go into games. And what do we have? Unfortunately, I wish we had like a mem for a command, but it doesn't work. I'd like to check out all the available memory and all that kind of stuff and see how much this is taking up, but I don't know how to do that. Um, so we have Bolo, I don't know what that is, and we have Mario. Let's check out Mario, and I'm probably gonna need to connect my controller really quick. We have our Apple controller all connected, and let's get down to business. So let's get to it. Oh yeah, joystick works great. So this is just regular Mario Brothers. It's not my favorite game, but it's super cool to have it for Apple too. Yeah, man. Hey, I somehow turned this into a gaming video anyway. What do you think about that? Ooh. Oh, man, I suck. All right. So that's DOS uh, in a nutshell for the Apple IIe and for the Apple II, of course. Um, so let me show you what I did. I have one disc left. Let's go ahead and turn this off. We're gonna take the disc out and we're gonna put it up into my utilities. 
Uh, before we do that, though, I can't use it yet because um, I don't think my Apple II meets the requirements. But check this out. I've got Apple II Desktop, which is like an early sort of GUI environment. Um, it loads up, but the mouse doesn't function. And I don't think it's a problem with my mouse. I think it's a problem with the uh, computer not quite meeting the requirements. Because I can't even use keyboard commands. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to. But I just thought that was cool. But anyway, the Apple II desktop. Now let's go ahead and turn that off. And uh, I'll show you how I do this. Do you guys remember this crappy, crappy uh, Chinese tablet that is like basically no good for anything? Well, it's good for something now. It is good for copying games over to the Apple II. So let's go ahead and put a blank disc. Let's get it ready. I'm not gonna put it in yet. All right. So what we do here is this website is ASCIIExpress.net. Now there are two things you can do. You can plug an audio cable from the headphone jack of any device all the way into the uh, tape drive uh, connection for the Apple II. And then you crank the volume all the way up on this device and you go to this website. Uh, there are two things you can do. There's a place on the website that allows you to just stream games directly to the Apple II as if your tablet was the tape drive. However, you can also use disc games and copy them straight over to a disc while so you're playing the audio signal from the file into the computer. And I'll show you how to do that, okay? So let's find a game that we want. So basically you have a list of all the files you can use. I only have one disc, so whatever I do, it has to be a one disc game. So you click on Choplifter, and on this particular tablet, I just click the WAV file and it pulls a thing up, right? Now let's set the tablet down for a minute. All right, we're not ready to use it yet. So what we do is we turn the Apple computer on and then we do a control reset to take us to our command prompt. When you're ready, you hit load or you type in load on the Apple II. You put your disc in, and then you hit the play button for the file. All right, now it's playing. It's just gonna play the file from start to finish. And we're gonna set this to the side so you can kind of see what the Apple is doing. Uh, it's making noises, so you see it's loading. It's gonna take nine seconds to load this thing. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna load it and it's gonna format our disc and then it's going to copy the disc from the audio file on your tablet or whatever you're using from this website all the way over to the computer. And you can download these as well, these audio files, so you can have them for later. Like, you know, in case something ever happens to the website. All right, so it's done. Your tablet's done. You don't need it anymore. It's over. It's on your disc. So when we hit return to boot, it's now loading it from the disc. Congratulations, you have a game on disc. We're not using the tablet anymore. Well, there you go. Check that out. Um, I don't know anything about these games. Let's play Crystal Castle. Look at that. 1985, the West Coast Pirates Exchange, unlocked by Sapphire. <laughs> anyway, it's Crystal Caverns. I'm sorry, I keep saying, well, uh, Crystal Caverns, and then it says Crystal Castles. Whatever. All right, we're doing one player. I don't know if I can use a controller or not. We'll find out. Oh, yeah, I can use a controller. Very nice. Okay, I have to get the gems. Oh no, I died. I don't know what's what because um, I'm playing with a green, like monochrome, whatever monitor. So I have no idea what I'm doing. But yeah, man, that's how you get games. And I've got a lot more games that are cool. I'll probably show off in future videos with like a Let's Play. But uh, that's all I have for today. And that's how you get games on your Apple II line of computers. And uh, thank you for watching Retro Tech Toys. But really quick before I go, I will show you 
the latest with my office. This is what I've gotten organized so far. It's kind of hard to see. I have my Odyssey 2 and Aquarius up here. And uh, we got a really cool word processor that runs Geos up there. And uh, a couple other cool Apple computers, some compact all-in-ones. There's that Apple printer I told you about. This section needs to be organized. And uh, C64 Mini, Commodore 64. We've got a Tandy TRS 64K color computer. We've got a cool VCR, Nintendo, Tandy 1000 EX, and an Executive 64. Anyway, that's just all the stuff I have organized right now. And uh, of course the Apple IIe sitting in front of my base. And I've got cool lighting that I can't show you because it's daylight right now and it won't pick it up. But I have cool lighting that's wireless and turns colors and all that stuff. But anyway, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching Retro Tech Toys. I will see you next time.